an experience like no other, and it boasts of service that's personal and sincere. It's a boutique hotel that feels like home. Joining us on Metro Quadrado is Innovo Terra Properties Chairman and President Hanky Lee. So, Hanky, you're here to talk about the Henry. So, yes, I first, am. who is the Henry? The Henry, basically, for us, for me, is a gracious host, no? somebody who is sophisticated, somebody who's worldly and well-traveled, no? So, and basically what he's doing is... Are you is describing is, yourself? Because that's, you're a Henry, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm also Henry, but, but for me, it's, it's, it's really, um, you know, Henry is, a, is the host of, of the hotel, no? And then basically all the experiences is he's bringing it here to the Philippines. So basically. tell us about your two Henry hotels. Yeah, so we have two Henrys now. One is in Cebu and then the other one is in Manila. No? So the one in Cebu is basically living in an art gallery. No? So all 38 rooms, it's very boutique, it's very small, but all the rooms are basically just like living in an art museum. No? For the Henry in uh, Manila, it's basically restored 1940s liberation style houses. And these houses were converted into 34 rooms. No? And this is about nostalgia and modern vintage. That's the, that's the thing. Now you have here two very different approaches. Now, yes. the aesthetic, very different, would also attract a very different kind of clientele. So who's your target market, really? The, the target market for us is basically discerning, what we call discerning leisure travelers, those who are looking for an experience that's, you know, that's like no other, outside of the you know, cookie-cutter, five-star hotels that we currently have now. So these are definitely not business travelers, maybe not backpackers? Not backpackers. These are basically um, leisure travelers, those who have you know, two-week itineraries or you know, traveling all over the Philippines. And basically, they make their first stop either in Cebu or in Manila, and then they go on to Palawan or Bohol. Now, you also had a very different approach because your Cebu hotel was built from the ground up but your Manila hotel was restored. These were yes. actually restored houses. So yes. what's the business model that ties these two together? Well, it's basically creating, um, creating spaces, which I call inspiring and engaging. No? So basically, I love to polish diamonds. That's what I call, no? polishing diamonds. So basically, the, um, the one in, in, uh, in, in Cebu was actually, it was an unfinished building. No? So basically, I, I came in when it was 80% finished and then basically completed everything. The houses in uh, Pasay, in Manila, were actually just houses that were 1940s and almost falling to the ground. Imagine they're seven, more than 70 years old. And basically what I did was I, I polished those diamonds and created them into what the Henry is now. I mean, the Henry Manila now. Competition in the hotel industry is very stiff. Well, hotels are actually moving out of Manila. Yes. Is there a place for boutique hotels such as the Henry? Oh yes, you know there. You know, in every cosmopolitan city in the world, there are boutique hotels. You no, know? Hong Kong, Sydney, Singapore. You know, everywhere. You no, know? so that's why for me, you know, how come the Philippines doesn't have any of these, right? So now, you know, we we have something to look forward to, and that's the Henry. Okay, so what's next for the Henry? Where's the next location? Oh, um, we're, we want to, we have, we're very ambitious. We want to actually open eight more properties. Eight this year? No, not this year, but in the next five years. No? So How many for this year? For this year, maybe, hopefully we can get one. No? Hopefully we can get one. And then the, the places where we're looking at are basically in the Visayas. No? So that's um, Cebu. We want to open another property in Cebu. And then there's um, Bohol. And then there's Dumaguete. No, we're also looking at Luzon, so that's Palawan, there's uh, Metro Manila, Baguio, Batangas. Basically, where all the tourists are, no? we, want, we just want to follow them. My concern with boutique hotels is that they're relatively small, so you can't yes. rely on volume. And yet you can't also jack up the price because you're not talking about you know, like the five-star hotels. So how do, you, how do you get your margins? Well, the margins, basically, we have to be as efficient as we can. No? So, the, 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 um, the beauty of boutique hotels is, yes, we have that limiting factor in terms of the number of rooms, but in terms of the prices, because of the internet, and we, there are now some flexibility in terms of how you price the, the product. Most the of rooms. your customers, how do they know you? Internet? Internet, yes, internet. No? So we are, basically, the internet is our show window to the world, right? So the first day we opened, we already opened to the world because of the internet. And we are available on these uh, OTAs, they're called, online travel agents. So these are Expedia, Booking.com, Agoda. All right, mm. thank you very much, Henry. Good luck on your future endeavors. And thank interesting you very much, to provide Jean. alternative options for travelers. Thank you.